Apple Watch. Yes. Just a few months ago, we made Apple Watch available to our customers around the world. It's already changing their daily lives, and they love using it. They love how quick and easy it is to, to respond and receive to messages and phone calls and notifications from their favorite app. They're amazed at how Siri on the watch lets them do so much with just their voice, like get directions or send a quick message. With Apple Pay, customers are loving that they can purchase directly from their wrist. And Apple Watch is helping our users live a better day. Closing those rings had become a healthy obsession. In fact, we've been flooded by emails like this one from Dennis saying that the Apple Watch has motivated him to work out and exercise on a regular basis. To many people like Dennis, the Apple Watch has been life-changing. For all of these reasons and many more, people love using Apple Watch. Customer satisfaction is an incredible 97%. Now, despite just launching the watch a few months ago, we are on an incredible pace of innovation. And to tell you about where we're going next, I'd like to invite Jeff Williams to the stage. Jeff? Thanks, Tim. In June, just weeks after launching Apple Watch, we previewed our next generation of OS, and it's packed with powerful features. There are new watch faces, like this beautiful one with time transit, and third-party complications. Third-party complications, this is a big deal. It's, it's a really powerful thing to be able to glance at your wrist and see the information that's important to you and now with third-party complications, you can see even more. Things like the latest news or your airline departure time and time travel. Just rotate the digital crown and view the day ahead. It's the fastest way to see the next couple of meetings or uh, check what the temperature will be later in the day, for example. And we're adding transit to maps, making it easier to find and use public transportation. Now, in addition to these and other built-in features, developers have been hard at work. There are already over 10,000 watch apps on the App Store. And now, with native apps, developers can do even more. Apps can display video. They can access hardware, like the microphone, speaker, and health sensors. I'd like to show you a few right now. Facebook Messenger is coming to the watch. <laughs> Facebook Messenger allows users to send text, send audio messages, and share their location right from their wrist. And I translate, one of my personal favorites. Just speak into the microphone and see and hear translations in over 90 languages. And GoPro. The wrist is an ideal location to control your GoPro. And now the app turns the watch into a viewfinder. No matter where your camera's mounted, you'll always know where it's pointed and you'll never miss that important shot. And then Airstrip. This is an app that is for physicians, and I think it's a great example of just how far developers can go with native apps. But rather than describe it for you, I'd like to bring up Dr. Cameron Powell, co-founder of Airstrip, to demo it for you now. Hey, Jeff. Joining me on stage is Airstrip co-founder, Trey Moore. You know, Airstrip plays an important role 
in our country's healthcare system, leveraging the use of iPhone and iPad. But here comes another game changer for healthcare, Apple Watch. Let's start with a physician who's viewing his daily schedule, making rounds, and communicating with the team. Now, if I look at my watch face, I can see my next patient, I can notice their diagnosis, and I can actually time travel to see what's next. But let's see what happens if a nurse sends me a notification. Now, within the message itself, I can see the alert, the waveform snippet, vital signs, and the lab results. The reason that I can immediately see all of this relevant data is because once I have the watch on, I am securely authenticated until I take it off. Now let's go back and, and dig a little deeper on that waveform. I really want to know what's happening right now. Now, thank you. Now, this, this wasn't possible until watch OS 2. But what I really care about is I want to compare what happens in real time to what has been happening more recently. And I can do that on Apple Watch by rotating the digital crown. Now, as you can see, Airstrip magically pulls all this data together into a single view through our Airstrip One platform. And we make it available to Apple Watch for display. But what is so great is I can take action on what I see. Here, I can send a HIPAA compliant, secure message to a member of the patient's care team. In this instance, I'm gonna order a repeat ECG. Okay, we're gonna switch gears. Let's talk about how Airstrip with Apple Watch will change how doctors communicate with their patients. Now, Airstrip has been used already to monitor over three and a half million pregnant women in the hospital. But with our new product, Sense for Baby, we can now monitor these women at home leveraging Apple Watch. So here you see a message from a doctor to the pregnant patient at home asking her to begin monitoring her baby's heart with something called the non-stress test or an NST. Now the mom with the watch on her wrist and connected to the Sense for Baby sensors on her belly starts a test. Now as I can see on this green line, I can confirm that I'm monitoring the mother's heart rate as it's being read by Apple Watch. But I can also see the baby's heart rate and the mother's contractions as they're being read from Sense for Baby. So finally, finally I can differentiate between the mother's heart rate and the baby's heart rate, which has been a problem for many years with home monitoring. Now, while she's doing this test, she can actually listen to the baby's heart rate right on her wrist. That's, thank you. That's really cool, isn't it? Now, when the test is done, she can simply send all that data from her watch back to her doctor. And then later that evening, she gets a message from the doctor telling her, I've read your NST, your baby's doing just fine. So Airstrip plus Apple Watch together will redefine how messaging and communication occurs in healthcare. Thank you very much. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? That's, uh, that's why we do what we do. Why we do what we do. We think the power and potential of Watch OS 2 is unlimited, and we can't wait to see what else developers do with it. I want to switch gears, and I want to talk a little bit about our collection. When we created Apple Watch, we knew it had to be an expression of your personal taste and style. And today, we're offering even more choice. We've been working with a company that we greatly admire on some new watches. This is a company that shares our commitment to excellence and craftsmanship. And that company is Hermes. <laughs> Together we've created a collection. It starts with this iconic doubleteur, 
that wraps elegantly around your wrist twice. It's made of hand-stitched leather that ages beautifully over time. And joining the Dubla Tour is a, a single tour in a cuff. Each of these has an Hermes watch face that uses their traditional iconography. These are going to be available in select stores in October, and we think people are going to love Apple Watch Hermes. But that's not the only update to our lineup. We've been working on new models and new bands, and I'd like to show them to you now. We're really excited to offer two new finishes, gold and rose gold and anodized aluminum. Now, these are going to come in both sizes, 38 and 42 millimeter, and they're paired with some bands and some fresh new colors. And they're available at the same price as the rest of the sport lineup. This, this adds a whole new dimension to the lineup. You, you actually just have to see them in person. They're really, really beautiful. We've also made some updates to our stainless collection. The space black stainless has been very popular, so we're now adding a model with a black sport band. And we've updated our classic leather with, it's now got a two-tone look, and it comes in black and saddle brown. It's really beautiful. And finally, we're offering a stainless steel case with a product red band. Not only does it look good, but a portion of the proceeds goes to the Global Fund to fight AIDS. I think you're going to love it. One of the things that people love about Apple Watch is the ease with which you can change the band and create a whole new look. And so we're adding a fall collection of new bands ranging from vibrant hues to more neutral tones. And when you pair these bands with different cases, you end up with some truly unique combinations. It's really nice. So that's our Apple Watch lineup. And as we look forward to the, to the holiday season, we're really, really excited with, uh, with new models and uh, new, case, new, new OS with native apps. We think it's going to be a fantastic holiday gift. The new models that you saw are shipping today in these 24 countries. And Watch OS 2 is available on September 16th. That's Apple Watch. I'll hand it back to Tim. His iPad. Yes. iPad.